If someone were to ask you what your greatest attributes are, what would you say? And forget some self-deprecating answer like, I don't know, you tell me. But if you're truly being honest regarding qualities or features about yourself you believe to be noteworthy, what would they be? What about God? What are some of His attributes you are aware of and grateful for? A few that we all benefit from, whether we realize it or not, are His immutability, meaning He is unchanging, and His sovereignty, meaning God has the right and the power to do whatever He wants to do. Other attributes of God that are inherent to Him and can be shared with us to some degree are called His communicable attributes. These would include awe-inspiring qualities like moral goodness, His love, His mercy and grace, His holiness, His righteousness, and His justice. These are not just attributes God possesses, like an art collection encased behind a glass wall where we just get to look at them in awe and wonder. Thankfully, this is also how He acts towards us as well. Theologically, this means that God is inherently all these things and more, and he proves it by all that he does in his actions towards us in everything. All that God does is because of all that he is, and all that he is has always been seen and will forever continue to be seen in all that he does. So why am I saying all of these things about God? Because as those who are to be his image bearers in the world, all that we are needs to be seen and proven by all that we do meaning all that we are in Christ is going to be manifested in all that we do in life, or should be. So no matter, no matter how glowingly I may describe my wonderful attributes, they're only as true as the actions that reflect and prove them. Can I give you some insight as to some application for this truth? Take, for instance, the everyday problems and issues of our world, our nation, our region, and our local community. Brokenness, devastation, and tragedy are everywhere. Some are a result of natural disasters like wildfires and hurricanes, and others are a result of human hatred and sin, like the recent shootings in Jacksonville, Florida. What do we do? Biblically, we should be able to do what we are, shining light into the darkness and brokenness of our world with verifiable actions that reflect Jesus. It becomes problematic when we try to do what we are not. This is why it is so important for the church to be a genuine display of God's attributes to the world around us. And in order to be genuine in our actions, it needs to be something that we already are in our attributes. Let me be forthright. I am glad we had the attribute of Christian unity and diversity. Jesus prayed in John 17 that all of his disciples would have unity with one another in his body, the church. The reason I'm grateful for who we are is so there is genuineness to what we do when we respond to tragedies fueled by hate like the one that took place in Florida. Nothing smacks of hypocrisy like trying to shine light into darkness with an unlit candle. We can't call for unity when we don't live in unity. We can't call for mutual love and respect when we don't already have verifiable manifestations of mutual love and respect in our current relationships. Can I encourage you to first worship and thank God for who He is, and then for who He has made you to be, and finally who He has made you to be a part of in His church? Then can I encourage you to do what God has made and called you to do, and that is to be like Him and act like Jesus, our world needs Jesus, and every day proves it more and more. Now more than ever, the world needs the church to be the church. But our attributes are only as true as our actions prove it. And our actions are only as genuine 